Hello and welcome. Today is going to be my second in my series of Lisa Eldridge lipstick lexicon videos. The first one I did was reds and today I'm doing pinks. So I'm going to be lip swatching all of my Lisa Eldridge pink lipsticks. I have nine of them here across three different formulas. I'm then going to do arm swatches so we can see them all next to one another and just talk a little bit about how the shades compare to one another. And I just noticed after filming this whole video before I did my intro that I totally forgot to wear mascara today. I have it on now, but if you notice that something looks like it's missing on my eyes throughout the video, that's what it is. Anyways, I just wanted to mention that. So if you'd like to see all of Lisa's pinks and hear a little bit about them, just keep on watching. I have nine pink lipsticks here and three different formulas. I'm going to start with the luxuriously lucent ones. I have four of those. Um, because they're kind of more sheer and a little bit less likely to stay in the lips. And then I'll move into the velvets, I think. And then I'll do the two insanely saturated ones, which as you might expect from the name are the most highly pigmented and saturated formula from Lisa Eldridge. So starting with the lucents, the first one I'm going to do is Rose Official. So here is what Rose Official looks like in the tube. In general, the luxuriously lucent lipsticks tend to look a little bit darker or quite a bit darker in some cases in the tube than they end up actually looking on the lips. For the rest of these lip swatches, I'm just gonna play some music underneath and I'll be sure to label each shade as I go through. And then after I've done all the lip swatches, I'll do some swatches on my hand just so you can see all the colors next to one another.
All right, so those were all the lip swatches of all my Lisa Eldridge pinks. You might be wondering about shades, perhaps like blush lightly or velvet blush lightly, um, which could be considered a pink as well but I've decided that I'm gonna include that one in my berry category. So I just wanted to focus on the ones that I consider to really be pink lipsticks. I decided to be brave and leave Rainbow Spill on my lips. It's not one that I wear very often. As I've talked about before in several videos, I do find a lot of pink lipsticks quite difficult to wear. They're just a lot of pinks that I don't find particularly suit me, or at least they require a fair amount of work and kind of playing around with other makeup and tones to really make them fit into a look. So a lot of these aren't really go-tos for me, but I'm still, of course, really happy to have them. I'm so glad to have all of them, you know, partly so I can do a video like this one and show you all of the pinks that Lisa Eldridge offers, and also just so I know that I have really a pink for any occasion or any look that I want to do. Rainbow Spill, for example, it's super bright. It's like this neon, hot, warm pink, um, but it is a perfect lipstick for if I do like a full on rainbow eye, if I'm doing like a really pretty highly saturated rainbow eye with all the colors of the rainbow in it. Rainbow Spill just happens to be the perfect lip to go with that type of a look. Similarly, something like Go Lightly, which is also fairly neon, really, not a very easy color for me to wear. It goes really well with a full rainbow eye as well, and perhaps that's one that I would go to if it were like a more of a pastel rainbow. Uh, the Go Lightly shade would really suit that really well. So for me, there are occasions and uses for each of these colors, even if they're not ones that I go to on a regular basis. So here are the swatches of all the colors on my arm. I'll just go through and name them first. This one is Rose Official, Love of My Life, Dance Card, and go lightly. So these are the four luxuriously loosened shades. And the most similar within this little grouping are go lightly and dance card. In my opinion, for me, dance card is actually a much better color. It's a little bit more muted. It doesn't have quite that super bright, almost neon quality that go lightly has. And so for me, who's someone who has more muted undertones in my skin to begin with, the slightly more muted version of the color is a lot easier for me to wear. Uh, Love of my life I also find is a little bit bright for something that would look really naturally good on me, but Rose Official, you can see that has a lot more brown, it's a lot more muted and kind of almost nude in tone. That's one that's really easy for me to wear. And then moving into the velvet, so these three here are the velvet pinks from Lisa. Velvet Beauty, Velvet Petal, and Velvet Carnival. You might have noticed when I was doing my lip swatches that Velvet Carnival and Velvet Beauty might have looked a little weird in the tube and I was applying them a little bit more gingerly. That's because both of those have actually broken off at the base. They broke off last fall, I think October or November at some point. I haven't contacted customer service about it. I'm aware that that's an issue that people have had with some of their velvet lipsticks, but this was the first time it happened to me and it happened to those two colors within a couple days of each other. So that's why they might have looked a little bit um, different when I was using them. But these to me are all quite different colors. Velvet Beauty is a real blue-based pink, but I find that it does have a slightly muted quality to it as well, but it's definitely on the cooler side. Then Velvet Petal, I would say, is the kind of warmer counterpart to Velvet Beauty. Very similar depths. They both have a slightly muted quality to them, um, but Velvet Petal is a little bit warmer, and Velvet Beauty is more of a cool pink. For me, Velvet Petal is a lot easier to wear. And then we have Velvet Carnival, which is a really bright, it's like a neon, um, hot, cool pink, a hot, cool, blue-based pink, as opposed to something like Rainbow Spill, which is a hot, warm, uh, kind of neon pink. And since we're already talking about Velvet Carnival, I think it makes sense to go into these other ones because these are all really super bright shades. These two are the Insanely Saturated formula. They're currently the only lipsticks in Lisa's range that are in the Insanely Saturated formula, but she has teased she's bringing out at least one new Insanely Saturated lipstick in her spring launch this year. Um, but this one is Skyscraper Rose, and then this one is Rainbow Spill. Skyscraper Rose kind of sits right in the middle between these two shades because you can see that it's just as bright as these, um, but it has a little bit of that warmth. It has like a little bit of a red note to it, but it also has a little bit of that kind of cool fluorescent hot pink 
feel to it as well. To me, this is really like a super bright, saturated fuchsia shade. So it has that mixture of blue and red and, um, you know, warm and cool at the same time. These are all of Lisa's pinks. I hope I've described them all right, and I hope it was helpful for you to see them all on my lips. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments below. I always love to see those, and if you'd like to see more from me and you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would really love for you to do so. Thanks again so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.